How's it going guys? Today we're going to play a little bit of Chacon. <laughs> this game is epic. We're going to be playing this uh, let me turn it on so you can see on the uh, Sega Genesis Model 2 through the 32X through the uh, the Sega CD sound and the quality is epic This game is brutal, I won't even lie. The uh, jump detection, hit detection are kind of wonky. Once you learn it and, and put, put some time and effort into it, it's worth it. Uh, I beat it several times, but uh, always when going back and playing it, you tend to do, I don't know, you tend to make the same mistakes over and over. Uh, but once you learn the um, weak parts in the game uh, it, it's awesome I thought it'd be uh, some great fun for Halloween and uh, I'm hoping everybody enjoys uh, spending Halloween with me and uh, enjoying the videos But yeah, the uh, <laughs> the game is freaking epic. As you see, that is just too cool. The Forever Man. And the music sucks you right in. Sucks you right in. Now you'll get uh, certain weapons like that sickle that will allow you, you see, to cut through webs. Uh, switch to the double swords. You can do a roll. You can also imbue your um, swords with magic properties, flames, eyes, uh, like void, lightning. It's a it's an epic game. Epic game. I love their rock. Alright, guys. Let's kick off into it. Now your options um, your weapon, your attack, and your jump. And like I said, this. The game just reeks Halloween, mysticism, and uh, monsters. Each one of these areas of the hourglass, as you see, has a uh, the uh, like the void, the fire, uh, the green slime, and the lightning. Uh, each one of them, you go whenever you go and um, complete them, you get the ability to use that power for your swords. Also got a devil jump. That's uh, a must to learn. Uh, now before you go in the portal, I don't know if you can make it out, but in the background it has like the in level boss. Um, The storyline is great, some uh, spooky Halloween fun, like from the blackness of the deepest ocean it came. My swords will taste your evil blood. 
and a few cookies and a Kool-Aid along with it. You know, that's how I roll. I see you. <laughs> Always uh, act like I'm uh, directing an air airplane. <laughs> Now, um, jumping makes you go a little bit uh, faster, but the um, the water doesn't kill him because he's already dead and he is a forever man. Now, here's another uh, spot to learn your uh, super jump. We'll go up there and now we've got uh, a potion up here for our swords. Um, that allow us to do a lightning attack and each one of these little boxes will have like little special features and a, a whole weapons and equipment and you notice whenever you get hit uh, he roars I always thought that was pretty awesome And like I said, the game is brutal. And uh, as you've seen when on the the uh, ticket, I put it on easy mode. And you heard that uh, pop, it uh, took away, as you see in the top right hand corner, the uh, skeleton heads are your life bar. So and you always got to search around if you see something, uh, make the effort to get to it. Uh, get you some extra magic it's normally going to punish you for it but uh, it's worth it in the end I'm playing kind of reckless. This ain't the type of game you want to speed through. I'm just kind of trying to show you what to look for and uh, what the game has to offer. I missed one back there. Maybe I've got to... Huh. Yeah, some of them you've got to get uh, this hammer and it will allow you to... Uh, bust through these blocks to get um, you know on your second playthrough not really your second playthrough you'll go back through the level several times fixing to die <laughs> right guys hope you enjoyed a little bit more uh, spooky uh, Halloween fun Chicago Everman <laughs> peace out from Texas guys